All right, let's go to uh, Senator Will Winkowski has called in. We were just um, discussing how I saw him once at lunch with Andre McLeod, and it looked very suspicious. What say you, Senator? <laughs> hey, Eddie, how you doing? Good. I just wanted to address the pizza conspiracy uh, theory, which I've heard. You don't deny that you were at lunch with her, though, right? No, I, no, I was. Well, here's right. what happened. Right. You know, I, I, I was at the LIO, the legislative office, where, where we uh, legislators meet, and I got hungry, and I went out for a slice of pizza at uh, that uncle, which, what's the name of that little Uncle Joe. Uh, is that Uncle Joe? Uncle Joe's, Joe's, Joe's yeah. Uncle Joe's, right around, yeah. Right around the corner. I couldn't remember what the name it was. Yeah, Uncle Joe's. I went there. I bought, ordered a slice of pizza, maybe two slices. Andre came in right behind me. I had no idea she was going to be there. I've known Andre for probably five years. You know, I'm going to tell you, you may be absolutely correct, but I saw you walk into, you know, the door open, and my observation was as I saw you walk in there together. Now, I understand, just because two people walk in there, <laughs> same time, you know, uh, I, I didn't see that. It, it, there, there was, I, I had not, this wasn't a planned lunch. I was, I was going to pizza there, and... And Andre happened to walk in, and that was it. I mean, you know, and, and we did. We sat down, and we had lunch together. And, you know, I've known Andre for five years. She opposed me when I first ran for office. Yeah. She's a Republican. I'm a Democrat. Um, I've never helped her with any of her ethics complaints. Um, I did like the, Andre. Did I the mean, ethics I, complaint know. discussion come up when you guys were sitting over there together? I don't think it did. I mean, yeah. I, you know, the thing that she was talked about, if I remember correctly, was she's trying, she was, was trying to get emails. And I know that was the thing that, that has ever, you know, and I don't talk to Andre a lot, uh, in fact, very rarely, but I, I know that was a big thing for her was the emails. And uh, she had put in a records request for emails, and she was really frustrated that she, and I, I'm pretty sure that's what, what the conversation was. But it wasn't planned. It was just, you know, I was there, she was there, like, oh, hey, how you doing, Andre? See, I was there before you two were there, as you yeah, I remember, I, and, I, and I remember seeing you at some point. Yeah. Um, I I was looking over there and I thought, oh, yeah. this, isn't that interesting? Look at those two. And oh. uh, I thought to myself, oh, that's pretty convenient. And then at one point I looked over at the both of you and I and I said something, you know, smart aleck like I normally am, um, like you know, well, hey, what are you two doing here together? You know, it's kind of like or or words of that effect, meaning you know, are are you are you planning the conspiracy any further or what's going on? And and you did look uncomfortable. Uh, and maybe that was just my own opinion, but I, don't I mean, I do remember seeing you. I came over. I think I shook your hand. Yeah, yeah. Hi to you. Right. Was that the day that Trooper? Was that even the day that Trooper Day was going on? It was. In, in okay. fact, that's what was interesting about it was when I saw the two of you come in. It was like. Because that's what I was doing at the at the yeah. uh, legislative the LIO right. building was that we were all there watching. Everybody was there. The the Wooten deal and. Yeah. Next thing I know, I come in. I'm sitting down eating lunch, and they and walk, uh, you know, and walk the biggest complaint filer against the governor and a and a Democrat senator who, you know, I, I would assume you 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 would oppose the governor at at some time. Well, you know, I've supported the governor on a lot of her issues. I've right. been a big supporter on ethics, on AGIA, on um, gas taxes. I've been a huge supporter of hers. And when I support her, I'm very vocal about it. When the AP did a, a hit piece against Governor Palin during the campaign. I came out and I said it was a hit piece. I called them, mm -hmm. you know. But, but I do have some disagreements with the governor, and when I disagree, I'm just as vocal about those. Uh, what's your position on the 14 ethics complaints that have been filed against? Well, there's 14 that have been dismissed now. You know, uh, what do you I, think about all these ethics complaints, Senator? I, I mean, I, I don't agree with a lot of them that that have been filed. Which ones so. do you agree with? I don't know that I agree with any of them. Well, then, then, your an, then the correct answer would be <laughs> I don't agree with any of them. Well, I haven't, I haven't, I mean, to be honest with you, it's not something that I've read. It's not something that I've followed very closely. Okay. Um, so you know, none, of, none of them that you know, no, no ethics complaint that you know of is, is worth filing, huh? I, ha I haven't worked with, I haven't advocated that anyone file ethics complaints. I mean, you know, this is democracy, right? Right. And, and, and when you disagree with someone philosophically, you don't file ethics complaint against them. You go out and try to get them on a list. Would you agree them. with that? And that's interesting. That's an interesting point, Senator. Uh, Thomas Van Flyn, legal counsel, you know him well, uh, uh, to Governor Palin, says that this is more about personal disagreements or policy disagreements, not ethic violations. Would you would you, would you associate yourself with those comments? 
I, I mean, again, I, I haven't read the ethics complaints. I really, I really right. haven't read the ethics complaints. But you alluded to just a minute ago that you thought that they were policy disagreements. And, hey, you know, if you disagree with somebody, vote against them. Yeah, I would agree but, with that. But, but, but that, that these are, are these, um, when you disagree with somebody on policy doesn't mean that they've committed an ethics violation. I agree. I mean, yeah. you know, I, and again, I, I haven't read them closely enough. I'm, I'm busy doing other things. It's not something that I would have spent time on, quite frankly. Yeah. I, I didn't file any of them. I wouldn't have filed any of them. I mean, quite frankly, me personally, um, I, I just wouldn't have. You know, when I disagree with the governor, I say so. I mean, I go out and I, I, I'll yeah. call the governor up or I'll send her a letter or, you know, I'm, I'm not bashful about doing that. Senator, um, you're part of the, there's a coalition together, a bipartisan majority, uh, and I don't know what position you serve in that in that majority, but let me say this: you know, under state law, if you if if I file an ethics complaint against you, and I go to the media with it before it's been resolved, the ethics complaint is is uh, thrown out, and it's that way just about on every person in state government except for the governor. Do you think there's a time? In your opinion, that this ethics uh, complaint issue is 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 uh, revisited, and there may be penalties against people who who file ones that that are dismissed, or or should they be uh, thrown out as one would be if it was filed against you and they went to the media with it? You know, I've heard that just recently. Um, I didn't know that there was that distinction um, again because it's just not an issue that I've followed very closely. But now with all these ethics, ethics complaints that are out there you see that there is this distinction. I don't know why that distinction exists. I don't know why you treat the governor different than you treat the legislative branch. I don't know what the policy, I don't know why, the, why you know, some legislature in the past obviously came up and said there's, that's the policy call, right? Yeah. They could have easily changed the Ethics Act for the executive branch at that time. I don't know why they didn't. I don't know why. So I don't know what the policy reason is. Maybe there is a good policy. Yeah, but, but would you that. do you think that's unfair that the governor is treated, in your opinion, differently from you as a senator? Again, I you know I don't know what the policy reason is. I you know just uh, at first glance, Senator, I, come on, man, you call this show and, and you tell me you didn't have a meeting. You know, you just happen to be up there, and then every question I ask you, you say, "Oh, well, you know, I, I don't really know. I don't really know. I haven't really read the ethics complaints. I got other things to do. I don't really know if this is unfair against the governor." Come on, tell uh, me something you was, do know, the Senator. The only thing I was calling was you. You had said that I was I was conspiring on ethics complaints. Well, I, I, I said it. You saw me having a slice of pizza with somebody. Well, you guys and, walked and, in together. And that's what I do know, and I'm saying that's not true. Now, uh, you know, is, is it fair that the governor is treated differently than the legislative branch? I, you know, my answer to you is obviously some legislature in the past made a policy call that that's well. I didn't ask you. Some people had slavery once before, and another legislate and another government, uh, another elected body got a, got through with it. Come on, man, and, say something. I, I I would be happy. I mean, you know, if someone wanted to file a bill. To, to change that, I would be happy to listen to it. Come before my committee on Senate Judiciary. You're a Judiciary Chair. That's right. You are. A, I'm, you, I'm not the chair. I'm the Vice Chair. Of judiciary. Right. Right. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, Senator, it's been a pleasure talking to you today. It's we been appreciate a pleasure it. Talking to you. All right, Senator. All right. Take Thanks care. for calling. We'll be right back.